Welcome back to the 30 day Jiu Jitsu mobility challenge. Let's get straight into today's session. We're gonna be working on the upper body. So stand up, find your place on your mat or wherever you're at. And we're gonna go with some big arm swings here. Just out in front, big arm swings, opening up your chest. These are called Michael Phelps or swimmers. Feel free to slap yourself on the body. Don't go crazy. <laughs> Big arm swings, just to warm up those shoulders, warm up those arms. Do the same, but now to the front. With your breathing, breathe in, and breathe out as you push down. So, just keep breathing as I'm waffling on. Big arm swings, bend your knees slightly as you imagine scooping the air, throwing it behind you. Okay, back to Michael Phelps. Now, in a moment, I'm gonna start to swing side by side. And I'm separating my feet out to be just about shoulder width apart. Now I'm going to swing and pivot off my foot. Swinging and slapping my body as I go. Feel a nice stretch and as you twist on the opposite side, you should feel it in your upper body, in your thoracic. And of course, warming up your shoulders here. Next, we're gonna go with some circles, great fists, tight circles. Give me your breath steady in through your nose and out through your mouth or your nose. Open up the circles, keep spinning. Right, big circles now. And the other way, starting off small, changing the direction of your rotation. Circles, open up, bigger, bigger. Big circles to the front. Excellent, okay. So now we're gonna come down on, the, on your knees, on your mat, sitting up on your, on your toes here. So we get a bit of a two for one. Create, bring your hands together. Just rotate your wrists. So we're gonna warm up our wrists, go the other way. The aim here is just to get some blood flow going into the shoulders, into the wrists, into the forearms. Prep them up. Change directions. Okay, now bring your hands out in front of you. Just rotate your wrists inwards. and out, reverse directions. Okay, now we're gonna come down onto our butt. Have your legs out in front of you. Your feet are about shoulder width apart. I have my, my hands behind me and they're, uh, my, my fingertips are facing away and I'm pinning my shoulder blades together behind my back. Now I'm going to extend out with my feet and just open up my chest. So keep pinning my shoulder blades together. My fingers are pointing backwards and I'm just creeping forward. You should feel a nice stretch through your chest here. Continue to walk yourself forward if you can, if you have the range, if not, that's okay. You should feel this all through your shoulders, down into your chest a little bit of a short uh, right shoulder at the moment, so I definitely feel it there, but it's okay. You shouldn't feel any nerve pain or any zinging or anything like that. If you do feel that, then it, it's probably uh, indicative that you're pulling on something you shouldn't be, so just step a little bit out of the position. Okay, now we're gonna return our feet back to shoulder width apart. Make sure that our fingertips are pointing away from us, our thumbs, are pointing out at a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna kind of come up for some tabletop presses. So you're gonna press your glutes up, drive through, your shoulder blades are pinned together. You should end up in this tabletop position. Then we're gonna come back out, lightly tap our glutes to the mat or the floor, and then push back up. Come out, 
and push back up. I'm gonna go for 10 reps here. That was three. Follow along with me for four. For five. Squeeze your glutes at the top for six. Keep your shoulder blades pinned. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10 and hold. We're gonna hold here for 15 to 30 seconds. See how we go. We're holding. Keep your glutes engaged. Shoulder blades pinned. Keep holding, you've got it. We're here for three. We're here for two. We're here for one and release back down. Shake it out, shake it out. Shake out your elbows. Get some blood flow back in there. Give me some elbow rotations on the right hand side. Other way. Now the left side. Let's get the blood back into our arms. The other way. Excellent, we're gonna go back into that tabletop, see how you go. If tabletop press is a bit much for you, stay at the first progression. Just stay at this long sit position here. But if you're ready for it, let's get your feet about shoulder width apart, get ready to push up into a tabletop in three, two, one. Let's push up for 10 reps here, that's one. That's two, three. Squeeze your glute at the top, your glutes, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold. Keep holding, keep your core engaged. Glutes are on, shoulder blades pinned back together, opening up that chest. Keep holding. You're here for three, you're here for two, you're here for one and release. Let's get some blood flow back into those elbows. The right hand side. And the other way. And the left, you can do both at once if you'd like. And the other way. Good stuff. Okay, let's go into the scorpion. So this is a static hold, a little bit different from what we've done so far. Hopefully I can keep it all in, uh, all in frame here. So what we're gonna do is come down prone onto your belly. We're gonna start by going to the right side. So have your right arm out. The left arm is coming to the mat and using it to push you all the way over. And your left leg can either hover like this, just above the mat here, really stretch into your pec, or it can come all the way to the mat, which is my preferred variation. So this leg here looks a little bit like a scorpion's tail, hence why the, the name of the stretch is called scorpion. So you should be actively driving into the mat to open up your pec, open up your shoulder. You should feel it all the way down your elbow as well. I'm gonna breathe into this position. Give me five good breaths here. So breathe in. Last one. And slowly come out of that position. Bring your arm up and we're gonna go straight away and swap sides. Extend your left. Drive your right leg now up, either hovering over or all the way to the mat in a bent. Bend your knee, use your right hand to push into the mat to open up your chest. And this is a static hold here. Once you have the position, let's give me five deep breaths, breathing deep into your diaphragm here. So let's go. if you feel so inclined. Stretch out your lower back. 
All right, and return back to kneeling. And that is your day two of the 30 day Jiu Jitsu Mobility Challenge. Stay tuned, there's some awesome sessions coming up, some awesome follow alongs. You're definitely going to get a lot out of it to impact your Jiu Jitsu. Let me know in the comments how you enjoyed this session and how you're getting on so far.